welcome back again to my channel. In our last video, I showed us how we can download and install Easy Worship 7 on our PC for our presentation. And I remember also telling you that we'll be showing you how we can remotely control the Easy Worship using our smartphone. Yes, you heard me right, using your smartphone. So what that means is that you cannot use your smartphone to control your Easy Worship. And again, I will also show you how you can bring in feed from your camera into Easy Worship, or you can even use your phone to do that. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive in and let's get it started. To get the remote access of the Easy Worship, this is what you need to do. On your Easy Worship, once it is launched, come over to this part where it says remote. As you can see, devices and available devices. I do not have any that is currently available. So you come here where it says Easy Worship Remote Desktop. Click on this off to turn it on. And you can see it's requesting that we download a particular software. This is the software we are going to download. So follow along while I show you how to download, install, and also set it up for remote use. So click on the download and we'll be redirected to our Google Chrome, which is our browser, for which to be able to have access to it. Here, we are already here, and it says, download Bonjour Print Services for Windows. Anyway, don't mind all these grammars here. I believe they did it for something, but once you download this, it should be able to help you. This is what we are going to download. That is the, the Bonjour Print Services. So go ahead, click the download, and once it is downloaded, and the good thing again is that this is a very small size file. So it's been downloaded instantly. So I'm going to locate it in my download session. And right here, this is it. Look at it, the Bonjour setup. You right click on it and you say run as administrator. You click on next, click on I agree to the terms, next and just let everything move. So click on the finish so that it will, it will complete the installation. We'll head over to my smartphone to download the application that we'll be using to control it. So on the Google Play Store or your iOS, go ahead and search for Easy Worship. Yes. Just click on it. I already have it in installed, so it's asking me to open. There would not be any need to do that. But for you, just go ahead, download and install it like a normal app. And this is what you are bound to see. Click on it and it launches on its own. And right here, you can see that it is still blank. If we click the menu button here, we don't have it connected. Now, for you to be able to connect, Please, what you just need to do is to make sure that both the system that you are using to uh, for your Easy Worship and your smartphone are both connected to the same network. Yes, if you are using any Wi-Fi, make sure that the both of them are on the same network. So to do that, I'm going to connect to the network. I'm both connected actually. Then here, what I'm going to do is to click on this remote and then click on that same place where I said on initially, and you can see this is my this is my phone. It says CPH2185. So I'll tell it to pair. The moment I say pair, just wait and you're going to see it reflects right here. So let's put something and see. Good, as you can see. I just double click here and you're going to see the 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 stuff like in real time. I think this is zero latency, like no delay, no no buffering whatsoever. If I decide to play a media, though you are not going to preview the media here, but it's already playing, like it's there on your easy worship. Now you can also see that with this. You no longer need to bother yourself. All you just need to do is make sure that you have everything well compiled in your schedule. And if you have everything already there, 
You don't need to bother yourself. Once you want to get hold of anything, you can just click on this menu button here and everything will be at the mind. So let me also key some things on the schedule so that you'll be able to see how this works. And we also try it out for you to have a first view of what it is. So let's go back to our Amazing Grace and we are going to add it to our schedule. That should be our number one schedule. We are going to come to scriptures and then we'll click on this Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Let us also add it as our second queue on the schedule. We'll come to our media and we are going to queue it on our schedule. Now, if you come, you're going to see that they are all reflecting on the schedule. So this is it. If for any reason, after queuing it here and you see that you can't do anything and it's not allowing you, don't bother. Just come back to your Easy Worship and click on this key icon here to unlock it. It now gives it room. Yes. And you can see. So this is it. Nice. So with this, enter the second, the first verse, the second verse. I can even scroll up, come back to the first verse, whichever way you want to control it. And you can also see that it is reflecting here in real time. Let me show you my, my live view window so that you also get to see how it is. Yes, this is my live view window. Let me take it one side. So if I click on this, it's there in real time, like no, no delay whatsoever. As you are clicking on it, it's working. Or you can even move with this button. That is if that is what you want. You can also come here and go back to the schedule, click on your Bible verse, you click on it, it will present your Bible verse. Then if what you now need is to play the media, once you click on it, because you can preview it here, but it's already there on your screen. And with that, you'll be able to control that remotely. This is so nice. This is something that you couldn't do in other versions of, uh, in the older versions of Easy Worship, but now you have the ability for it to do that. So let's still go back and uh, see how we will be able to not just um, work with this, but how we can be able to bring in our, our uh, smartphones as a standard camera into our Easy Worship. So let me, for the sake of this, let it go. To connect your smartphone as a standard camera on the Easy Worship 7, Go to your Google Play Store and you're going to search for this app, which is the NDI HS camera. This is what it looks like. It is a paid app. I think that is 6,300. That is if you can afford it. But if you can't, then you can go for some other um, applications like the Droid Cam. And there are some others. So if you have any issue regarding that, maybe you want me to help out then you can drop your comments in the comment section and i'll be able to help you out to get the droid cam or those other ones but this is what i'll be using for now which is the ndihs camera i already have it on my phone so what i'll do is to launch the application it's already here i'll make sure that my system and that of the phone's internet connection is on the same network once you come over to your easy worship you come over to the media. That is where we are going to connect our smartphone. And you're going to see this video images feed. It is on the feed that we'll be bringing in our camera from. So once you click on it, you're going to see this plus, this plus sign here. Click on the plus and you will see name. On this name, you can give it camera. Let's see. For the purpose of this, we are going to say camera. So, and you can also see input device. Here on my phone, you see this white round dot. If I click on it and it turns red, you should be able to reflect. Once I pick it up, this is what you have. This is, this is it. And this is my smartphone. This is where we call it a wrap for the day. I believe you've seen that it is very much possible to use your smartphone to fit into your Easy Worship for your presentation. So if you are still thinking of the Easy Worship of those days, then you've been lagging behind. So 
with that being said i want to please employ you if you haven't subscribed to this channel do well to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of our subsequent videos because we'll be dropping media related videos on this channel henceforth so you wouldn't want to miss out and again help me turn on the notification share to your team members invite people and if you have any issue that you think you want me to help you out with one on one that is media related please do well to click the link in the description and it will direct you to my whatsapp group where i'll be sharing some of these tips with you and also getting to interact with you one on one so i see you again remember that this is the lost work and we'll keep working